Hey guys, I'm back again. Just a bit of an update. Some of this is strike well, the iron's hot. Try and move things on whilst I can. So, what have we done? We wanted to cover this up. General spatter protection. In part three, I showed a chunk of fairly heavy steel too, which is about 16 gauge. So what we've done is close it off at the top and uh, we've cut slots. We can see them. there's a slot there and a slot there, that's for the belt. And then at the back we've got a relief for the uh, mounting bracket and then a couple of a couple of tabs for mounting it. And then another very simple piece. This is uh, about 20 gauge, I think, 22 gauge. Some aluminum, just uh, bent that, and that's going to be a cover for the control box. So let's uh, get, let's fit those. You can see them in place. Well, here's one view. That's um, in place, located by these two little lugs, one each side. This is very lightweight, purely to cover the top of the control box and I can get under there quite easily to uh, change speed. The only thing that's left exposed is the belt and one thing I can do I've got this carbon fiber mini weld blanket and uh, it's not going to be too much a, a problem just to put that over there if I feel I'm creating a lot of spatter. In the normal course of events I think this situation will be enough and I don't think the belt will get hammered. But uh, we'll try that. Now, I've got one other idea which I'll tell you about in a moment, so just take a closer look in on there. I keep moving the light because I can't get it really in the right place. Anyway, we've got the uh, belt clearance there. That one seem to focus. There you are, that's focused. Coming down to this angle. It's just a, as I say, it's only a spatter protection. We can get at everything. So that's pretty much it. All simple stuff, but I uh, should do the job. Now the other idea I've got, I'll just run this by you in a minute. Alrighty, well here's the plan, which in theory I think can work. I've got some uh, carbon brushes, but they're small. And what we're looking for here really is a large contact area. So. I've just ordered a 2 inch by 2 inch by 3 quarter piece of pure graphite, a block. Guess where it comes from? China! <laughs> so I won't get that in a hurry, so you're not going to see that in action for a while. But anyway, the, the plan is I can strap an earth to this uh, aluminum plate more or less anywhere, pretty well anywhere I like and uh, put an earth clamp to that. Then the plan is here, from the plate, let me just look at, zoom back a little bit. Um, from this, it's not plate is it, it's just sheet. But from here we'll have a mounting, metal mounting, uh, connected well to the aluminum obviously and then from the top of that we'll have something like a piece of spring steel uh, or maybe if I've got anything phosphor bronze something with some spring in it and then we'll take the turntable off and improve the surface which at the moment is well it's not rough but it's not smooth polish the heck out of that and get a really really good finish and then contour the block so that it sits uh, 
it would fit. Let's take up that belt tension slightly. Uh, it would be contoured to suit the outside of the chuck and the outside of the turntable. In other words, a slight crescent shape. So there'd be something like two, two, th probably three square inches of contact. And I think that might work. If somebody th thinks it's a total waste of time, then you can say so. Uh, but uh, surface contact to me is all critical. And I think in essence that can work. So that's where we are now till I get the uh, carbon block. At which point, oh, and I've I finished, hang on, just a very small point, the uh, nasty old corners, one on the other side as well. Just cut that and beaten the material. So there we are for now. As I say, I'm really waiting on the uh, carbon block now, after which I should consider the project essentially finished. All right, thanks for sticking with it. I'm not sure whether they call this part four or part three addendum. Hardly matters, does it? Anyway, thanks uh, for watching. <laughs>